you are listening to Dr. Huma Ibrar and today on demand I'm here to discuss a very important topic and often confusing topic that is gait cycle. I have simplified it to make it easier to understand even for beginners with a very quick review. We'll go through each phase of gait and clearly explain which muscle acts and when along with the easy mnemonics so that you never forget this topic again. I have also uploaded a detailed gait overview lecture and the link is given in description box. Whether you are preparing for your licensing exam or just need a quick review, this lecture will help you a lot. So stay tuned and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and for more important lectures, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon. With the mnemonics for phases to remember the phases of gait cycle, here is the mnemonic. I like my tea pre-sweet. So I for initial contact, L of like for loading response and M of my for mid stance. T for T of T for a terminal swing and P of pre for pre swing, S of sweet for swing initial mid and terminal. Let's move towards the introduction to gait cycle. Gait refers to the walking pattern divided into two phases. The first one is stance phase and the second one is swing phase. Stance phase is uh, sixty percent of the gait cycle. Foot is on the crown and swing phase is a 40% of the gait cycle and the foot is in the air. So below here is the visual demonstration of phases of gaits. The first one is at the initial contact and the second one is foot flat. The third one is mid stance and the fourth one is heel off and the fifth one is toe off. Let's start with the phase one that is initial contact or heel strike. Muscles involved or acting in initial contact are tibialis anterior for torch reflection, gluteus maximus for hip stability, hamstring for knee stabilization, and the mnemonic to remember the muscles of initial contact are the great heel hits. The T of the for tibialis anterior and G of great for gluteus maximus, H of heel for hamstrings and H of hits for heel strike initial contact. So moving towards the phase two that is loading response, foot flat, muscles acting in loading response are quadriceps for knee extension, tibialis and tear for eccentric control, gluteus medius for pelvic stability, gluteus maximus for hip extension. Mnemonic to remember the muscles of loading response is quick to gain ground. Q quadricep, two T two T of two for tibialis anterior, G of gain for gluteus medius, and G of ground for gluteus maximus. Here is the visual demonstration of heel strike and loading response. Stabilize the limb, absorb shock, and preserve the progression of the body. Moving towards the phase 3, that is mid stance. Muscles involved in mid stance phase are triceps psoriasis, gastrocnemius, soleus for plant reflection, gluteus medius for pelvic support. I to remember the muscles of mid stance is TSJ, take a strong glide. Take T of take for triceps psori, um, strong S for soleus, and T of gl glide for gluteus medius. So here is also the uh, visual demonstration of all the phases. The first one I see is for initial contact, uh, and the second one is for uh, foot flat. The third one is for mid is for mid stance. The fourth one is for heel lift. Uh, a fifth one is of two off. So the fourth phase is terminal stance heel off phase. Muscles involved in terminal stance heel off phase are gastrocnemius and soleus for push off, tibialis posterior for arch stability, flexor hollis is longest for pu toe push. And on to remember the muscles of terminal stance are great strong toe flex. 
Great, G of great for gastrocnemius, S of strong for soleus and toes, D of toes for tibialis posterior and F of flex for flexor hollis longus. So internal stance free sports begins when the red heel rises and continues until the heel of the blue foot hits the ground. Body weight progresses beyond the red foot. The phase 5 is pre-swing to off phase. Muscles involved in phase 5 pre-swing phase are iliosus, rectus femoris, hip flexors, gastrocnemius, final push, flexor hollis is longus. And the mnemonics to remember these muscles of pre-swing phase are I'm ready for good fly. I for iliosus, R for rectus and F for femoris and uh, G for gastrocnemius and F of flight for flexor hollis is longus. Next is phase 6, the initial swing phase. Muscles involved in initial swing are iliosaurus, rectus femoris, hamstring, short head. Functions are flex hip and knee. And the mnemonic to remember the muscles of the initial swing are IRH, IR head up. I for iliosaurus, R for rectus femoris, and H of head up for hamstring. The next is phase 7, mid-swing phase. Muscles involved in mid-swing are tibialis and tear functions, dorsiflexion to clear foot. And mnemonic to remember, the muscle of mid-swing is T2 up. The next is phase 8, terminal swing. Muscles involved are hamstrings, quadriceps, tibialis and tear. Function is to prepare for heel strike. And mnemonics to remember, uh, terminal swing muscles are HQT, heel quick touch, heel H of heel for hamstring, Q of quick for quadriceps, and T of touch for tibialis and tear. So if you still haven't followed my WhatsApp channel, uh, the link is given in description box. Join this channel for success stories, licensing updates, and job vacancies. That's it for today's lecture on Kate cycle. I hope now it's much clearer to you which muscles are involved in each phase and what their roles are. If this helps simplify Kate for you, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what topic you want me to cover next. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more useful lectures, mnemonics and licensing exam tips. This is Talk Show Huma Ibrar signing off. Stay motivated and keep learning.